Hey, 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 it's your girl, Coach Sylvia. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's Talk About It Tuesday. I wanted to come on and talk about, uh, we have the detox. That's going to be the topic. You need a detox. So, go ahead and tell your girls and your boys and your men and the women, come on and link in because your girl is on. Make sure you share, like, and comment. Um, okay, so... When God gave me this topic, y'all, I told y'all a lot of times, I make it a topic, but I don't know what the word he's talking about at the moment, but it makes sense because there's always something that happens that causes me to be transparent on why he gave me certain things to talk about. We must detox. So, I think we came and worked out on, I think Saturday, and I kept hearing, you have to detox. So, I'm like, okay, what are you saying, God? What are you saying? So, when you detox, right, you have to have the right ingredients to detox. You know, when you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to jump start your diet, uh, you have to have the right ingredients. You may use lemon, lime, mint, water, um, and ginger to do a detox, right? Why do you do a detox? You do a detox to cleanse yourself out. To cleanse yourself out of all the toxic ingredients and toxic stuff that you have in your body in order to jumpstart your diet or in order to lose weight in order to see some results right you have to detox so i'm listening to god saying this to me he was like you know in life if you don't detox from certain things certain people uh, certain stuff in your life you're gonna be full of toxic it no matter how you try to change it, no matter how you try to walk away from something, if you don't detox yourself, if you don't detox your life, you're going to stay toxic. And no matter how it look like, you're getting away with a little bit, you see a little bit of results, like you see some inches coming. But if you keep putting the same ingredients in your diet, you're not going to get a full result of what you're trying to do, right? So, with that being said, he was like, oh, babe, Know what you're dealing with and don't die doing it. All right? Those three key points that I want to talk about. You must obey. You must know what you're dealing with. And you don't have to die doing it. Okay? So, when he gave me that, I thought about Hannah and Panana. When you know the story of Hannah and Panana, um, Hannah womb was shut up. So, her husband would favor her with more things because her womb was shut up. So, by her womb being closed, Panana felt like, you know, she the better one. She that girl because, oh, I can have kids. Oh, I can pop them out. You know what y'all say. I can pop them out. But Hannah, my womb shut. So I feel some type of way. I don't feel like I'm a woman because the Lord has shut my womb. And then you have Panana. You know, you have somebody provoking you. You have somebody mess with you, picking with you because your womb shut up. So what did that make you feel like? You feel like you're less than a woman. You feel like you're not good enough. You feel that rejection no matter what, no matter how your husband favor you. You feel that rejection. You feel like, uh, you know, you're less than a woman because your womb shut up. But here's the thing about Hannah, that at some point she had to stop allowing that toxic stuff to get in her system, right? In order for her to get some results, she had to change the ingredients. She could not keep responding to Panana. Can you imagine in the now day, you be like, oh, you wanna mess with me? Oh, I'm gonna get your back. I'm gonna do this to you too. I'm gonna talk praise to you too. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say some praise stuff to you because now you picking with me, you messing with me. I, I know my womb shut. I don't need you to tell me. I don't need you to provoke me. I don't need you to mess with me when I'm in a state that I want to have kids and I can't, but you can. So can you imagine her being depressed, angry, mad, upset, could be upset with herself, God, and her husband because her womb was shut up? So if you keep responding the same way with those type of ingredients, notice she wasn't getting any results. But the minute she changed her ingredients, what did she start doing? She started praying. Yeah, she started praying. She started talking to God. And the minute when she started talking to God, you know, you still have those outsiders, you know, those toxic people around you that then now they're going to start assuming something because they don't know you change. All they know is they see her with her mouth moving and they don't hear nothing. So they just assumed that she was drunk. 
but they didn't know that God was changing her. She was changing her ingredients. She was detoxing herself by going to the Lord. And when she went to the Lord and started praying, before you know it, then God gave her her son. So what did she do to get the result? She stopped looking at her situation. She stopped responding the same way. She changed her perspective. That toxic woman that was in her life no longer mattered. But she knew who mattered the most. It was Jesus. She knew that Jesus was the only one that could give her her results. And some of us today, we live in situations that we in toxic relationships. We in toxic circumstances. We in toxic families. We in toxic uh, things on your job. Toxic in school. Different things that are around you, toxic. you're toxic to yourself because you believe the lies that the enemy have gave you. Just because things going around you and it's toxic, then you have the ability to change it, change your ingredients. What do you need to do to change what's going on in your life? Do you need to pull away? Do you need to separate? Do you need to tell yourself, I'm worthy, I'm value. I don't need a man beating upside my head. I don't need a liar in my life. I don't need a cheater in my life. You have the power to change it. You have the power to walk away out of a situation or you have the power to believe God to change your situation. What would you do to get out of your toxic relationship? You need to detox. So some of us need to detox from things that's around us, things that's making us sick, things that's making, that's harming our body, that's giving us infections, things that's making us not be in our well state, right? So what you have to do, you have to obey God because God is always speaking. He always giving us answers. He's always giving us results. We have to obey God. When he tell you no, get out that place, no. Get out that relationship, no. Get out of this, get out of that. He mean what he says because he has your best intentions in mind. He wants to work everything out for your good. Sometimes we just can't see it because it hurt. It be your spouse, it be your your maybe it be your family members, it be your friends, that men have done something to you. You have to make a conscious decision. If these people in your life is constantly bringing you down, you have to make a conscious decision. Do I want these people in my life or God, what are you saying? How do I change my perspective about them? How do I deal with them if they have to be in my life? All right, so that's number one. Number one, you have to obey. Number two, you have to know what you're dealing with. Somebody, some things you can't run away from. Some things you can't change. Some things you can't walk away from. Some things you have to change you to make the situation better for you. So you have to know what you're dealing with. So if I know that I'm dealing with a liar and a cheater, I must deal with them accordingly if I cannot remove the people out of my life. If these are people that has to be in my life, then I have to change my perspective. I have to put my thinking skills on. I have to learn how to deal with them accordingly. What I have to do is pray, fast, work on me because if I see and I know what you are, then I know what I'm dealing with. So I shouldn't keep getting upset about what I see, what's going on, and it's making me toxic. And I know we hear me. And I said, God, you're so amazing because when he gave me this, I wasn't encountering all these things I was counting. It was like boom, boom, boom. I encountered like four different things that happened to me before God gave me this word. I just kept hearing detox. Right after I heard detox, boom, 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 stuff started happening. And then we want to hold on to relationships because you feel like, you know, again, they've been in your life forever. They're your family members. They, uh, they've been your friend forever and all this. Okay, so God, what are you doing? What are you doing in this season? What are you doing? Are you telling me to keep them? Are you telling me to release them? Are you telling me to cast the devil out of them? What are you telling me to do? I don't know. All I know is that I had a moment where I felt like, okay, God, here we go again. I know I said rejection one in my life, but I felt myself feeling rejected from people that I felt like I loved and all this. And I said, God, get me back to that place of freedom that I would not allow my circumstances and people around me to change what you freed me from. And yes, when you freed me from rejection, I have to stand on that. And so I immediately had to snap out of, no, you are love. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. So when I started to get myself back into the word of God, back into what God had told me, back into what he freed me from, 
I got out right quickly, snapped out of there. I was back free. And then I'm like, okay, God, so now I know how to deal accordingly. Sometimes you cannot keep putting yourself back in toxic relationships that you know is going to bother you. If I go back to a place and being in somebody's life that I know that's toxic and I know the devil I cast out of, it's a choice that I decided to make. And then if I get hurt, that's my choice because I know what I'm dealing with and I choose to go around. So when you go around somebody that you know the devil ain't cast out of them, that you know who they are, you know their character, you must keep in mind, keep in the back of your head, you have to know what you're dealing with so you won't get your heart broke, that you won't be that toxic, that you won't think, oh, oh, they good now. Oh, she my friend now. She didn't mean that stuff. Oh, she changed. But you go right back letting them in your circle the way you used to and then you back toxic, you back hurt, you back frustrated, you back mad, you back angry and all that. No, 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 no. Do not allow the enemy to do that. Change the ingredients. Know what you're dealing with. Deal with them accordingly. Go out to eat if you have to, but you make the choice. If that's going to mess your peace, you don't have to. You don't have to stay around anything that's going to disturb your peace. You have a choice. Know what you and deal with it accordingly, all right? So, that's number two. We did number one, you got to obey. Obey what God tell you to do concerning the matter in order to be deep, to, in order to detox. Number two, know what you're dealing with. Know what you're dealing with so you will know how to keep the right ingredients in your system in order to stay clean. And number three, you don't have to die in this situation in order to be cleansed in order to have a detox you can get the results that you want now right so right now you see me i'm working out now in order for me to keep the to get the results i don't no longer just can work on the equipment but i have to change my eating habits too you know if i don't change my eating habits i may just see a little results i may just see some inches but i will not get the results that i want because i'm not fully detoxing or fully changing to get the results that I need. So, the next person I want to talk about is Samson. Remember Samson, he was a strong man. His glory and strength was in his hair. But his glory and strength really means that he was obeying God because he couldn't touch certain things. He couldn't eat certain things. He couldn't be around certain things in order for him to keep the strength of what God had put on his life. So, Samson decided that he wanted to finish out here. And make a long story short, he felt like he could play with her, he felt like he could do whatever, tell her this and tell her that, tell her this, tell her that. See, he was toxic. He was in a toxic relationship and he knew what he was doing, but he did not know that he was gonna be tricked. He did not know that they were gonna out trick him because he was so toxic. When you get toxic, you can't hear right, you can't see right, you can't smell right, you can't talk right. When you're around toxic, it's dark, it's nasty, it's black, it's green, it's purple, it's dark, it's, it's evil when you're full of toxic, but when you get the cleansing, things are clear, you can see better, your vision is better, you can hear clearer, you can hear the word of God, you begin to talk right when you in a cleansing state. So with Samson, he felt like he could do that stuff, he felt like he could play with the tips out here, and one day he woke up and he stripped his gone because he cut his hair, and so they begin, he asked God to make a long story short, he asked God to give him his string back. God gave him strength that he beat more Philistine than he ever did. He killed more Philistine than he ever did. But he had to do it dying. Do not do it dying. I said this once before on my other YouTube. You don't have to get what you need and the results that you need in a dying state. You don't have to be in a state of dying to get the results that you want. You want to outlive that thing so you can see the results and you can walk in the results and you can live in the results and you can pass it on to generations to generations that you can heal somebody else if you decide to change your ingredients and when you change your ingredients mean lord i surrender to you lord i give you a yes again lord i read your word lord i obey your word i meditate on your word day and night i fast and i pray you know these are the things that we just feel like we can just do it when we need to or when it's convenient or oh, always oh, me again, something going on, I need to get back to this. No, this is a lifestyle in order to stay toxic free, that you do the things of God, 
that you walk in the things of God, that you sit and you meditate. Not only do you talk to him, but you wait and you listen for God to talk to you, to give you the ingredients for your day, to give you the ingredients to start your day off, to give you the ingredients to get the results that you need. All right? So don't die getting the results that you need. Live through it. Get, get what you need now from God that you be, may be able to see the results. All right? That's all I have to tell that's all I have to say today. We must detox. Detox from all this nasty, crazy stuff that we call life. That we allow to get in our spirits and our soul. That will just make us feel bad. Make us go through things that we don't have to. We have a choice in the matter. We have the power. The greater one lives on the inside of us. So when you feeling lonely and you feeling these type of way, different things because when life is like this and it reminds you of things that you grew up from that God has healed you from and it caused you to feel that rejection it caused you to feel that abandonment no, shake yourself loose from it break those chains off you and know if you detox and you detox right and put the right ingredients in you, you will live to see the results that you want alright, I'm Coach Sibley have a great day, bye bye